Hi, so in today's video we're gonna review the Pink HA BHA serum from Nasific. I'm a fan of EXO and Chanyol just became Nasific's new ambassador, so I'm pretty excited to review this. If you watched my unboxing video I posted a while ago, I got this serum sent from a store in Korea. They just sent me a package and they included this serum. And in that unboxing video I asked if you guys would like to see a review of this and a lot of people were interested, so we're doing it. I went ahead and found the Nasific website, so let's read what exactly the serum is supposed to do. It contains watermelon extract rich in vitamins and minerals to keep the skin moisturized. I actually never tried anything that had watermelon extract, so I didn't really know anything about watermelon extract and skincare, so that's interesting. It also contains HABHA to exfoliate dead skin cells and it contains whatever this is <laughs> that I can't pronounce. It contains rich vitamins that keep your skin clean and radiant, raw material properties only. Firming loose skin with rich pink serum texture. Rich pink essence texture that makes skin healthier and tighter. You can actually see that it's not exactly clear. It's actually kind of pinkish, which is pretty cute. Fermented soybean and watermelon extract that effectively moisturizes your skin. I also never tried anything with soybean and skincare, so that's also... Pretty cool. Multi-care for whitening and reducing wrinkles. Okay, this one is actually pretty exciting because I didn't put makeup on my skin just so y'all can see what we're working with right away. As you can see, I have a lot of like acne scars and this whitening should help with that. I really need that right now. You need a pink serum right now. <laughs> that skin cell prone skin, red irritated skin, dry flaky skin, uneven skin tone, sensitive and troubled skin. Okay, so I would really benefit from the uneven skin tone and sensitive and troubled skin right now. So so they actually have a skincare routine recommendation for this serum cleansing first and using a toner and then this serum so i don't use an everyday toner in my routine right now because the toner i use is a treatment toner and i don't use it every single day because it's actually also an ha bha toner just like the serum so i ordered another toner which is not a treatment toner it's just like an everyday toner that i can use and i'm waiting for it right now since they have a skincare routine recommendation i figured i better do their recommendation this is the toner i ordered so i'm waiting for that and then i can start like testing this out so yeah i actually posted on instagram about this and i asked people that have tried this if they have any recommendations or anything and most people just said that since it's a HABHA serum that you shouldn't use it very often i planned on using it skipping a day whenever I use it. I found on their Instagram that this line is actually for people who want to use HABHA in a low concentrated amount. So this should be fine if I just skip a day whenever I use it. I don't think it's that intense that I need to only use it once a week. So yeah, as I said in my unboxing video, this smells like lavender. The smell is pretty intense. If you're like sensitive to smells in skincare, keep that in mind. So I think that's everything we need to know about this serum. I'll wait when I get the toner and then we can start our trying out the Nasific HABJ serum. See you then! Hi, so I finally got my toner and now we can start. I actually poured the toner into this little spray thingy so it's easier to apply. So let's start! Also, as you can see, we're not in daylight because I also read that it's better to use HABHA products during your nighttime skincare routine because apparently some HABHA might react badly to UV lights. So that's why I'm gonna do it at my nighttime. So yeah, get ready for really bad lightning throughout this video. So since it's supposed to help with wrinkles and whitening, I'm gonna first go over my wrinkle areas, which is my forehead and my smile lines. And we can see at the end if it did any changes to my wrinkles. So this is gonna be my skincare routine. My cleanser is the Cosrx Morning Gel Cleanser. My toner is the Etude House Sun Chung Relief Toner. Then I'm gonna go in with the Our Nasific Serum. And then for my moisturizer, I'm actually gonna use this essence from Cosrx as well. It's Snail Essence. And it's pretty moisturizing and hydrating. So I use it as my moisturizer. So this is my nighttime routine. For my morning routine, I'm gonna do the same thing. 
and add the sunscreen. I just ran out of my old sunscreen which was the Cosrx one and I just got this one because I've seen this one in so many people's videos. People are always like this is the best sunscreen you'll ever get. We'll see if it's the best. It feels like it's already absorbed. The Nasific serum so I can go in with my moisturizing essence. So as I said, I'm gonna skip a day whenever I use the Nasific serum. So yeah, those are the only products I'm gonna use throughout this process of trying this out. The only thing that I might add are pimple patches whenever I get pimples. Okay, so my skincare is done. See you after one day. Hi, so I was actually supposed to use the serum today, but I think I'm gonna skip it because my skin is not feeling the best. Like, like the serum is definitely helping with like my acne scars. It seems like they're fading from it. But yesterday my skin felt too tight in some places, like here and here. It felt like it was about to go flaky and like start peeling or something. Which didn't happen and actually today it feels better, but it just felt like really dry yesterday and I was scared that it might like I might get like a chemical burn or something. So that was scary, but yeah, here's a close-up. Yeah, I'm not sure why my skin felt like that yesterday, but I don't want to risk it and like try and see if I'm gonna get a chemical burn or not. So I'm gonna skip it for now and hopefully it gets back to normal. Hi, so I skipped like five days just to be safe and now I'll probably use this once or twice a week just to be safe because again I was using it skipping a day because I read on their Instagram that it's that this serum is for people that want to try HA BHA on a low concentrated amount so I thought it's gonna be safe if I use it skipping one day but maybe my skin is not as strong as I thought it would be <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna try using it like once twice a week Hi, so final thoughts about the Nasific HABHA Pink Serum is I like it. I'm gonna keep using it. I started using it on November 6th and today is November 28th, so almost a month. And I like it. This is my skin without makeup right now. As you can see, it works. The most noticeable things I would say it helped me with is it helps fade acne scars. Even though it doesn't specifically say that it's for fading acne scars, it says it's for brightening, which I assume means for evening out your skin tone, aka getting rid of acne scars. And also in the ingredients it says it has niacinamide, which is basically the best thing you could get for fading acne scars so as you can see my skin looks a lot better and actually this also is gonna last long because if you look closely you can see how much i used that much i used that much in almost a month that's because you don't have to use this every single day i used it i started using it skipping a day and then i switched to using it like every three days because at one point my skin felt dry and I was scared that I'm gonna get a chemical burn or something. Nothing happened to my skin, but it felt too dry, so, so I started using it every three days. So yeah, it's gonna last long. It works, obviously, <laughs> which I'm happy about because if you watched my previous trying out skincare video, it broke me out a lot and all of my acne scars are from that video. I 
think I noticed a lot of good things from this product but also I think it's fair to notice that all of my other products I was using along with this are also really good products so for my moisturizer I use the Cosrx Snail Essence which snail is regenerating as far as I know so that might also add to helping my fading acne scars my sunscreen is also a good one and it contains centella which again should help the toner I'm not too sure what it does but I'm pretty sure it's a good toner. I used it before and right now and I like it so. My cleanser is the Cosrx gel cleanser. I'm not sure if it like does noticeable benefits but it's just like an everyday light cleanser. I like it so. I think it's fair to notice that I wasn't only using this product alone and it like saved my skin on its own. All of the products I was using combined probably did it. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep using it. It also helps with overall like your pores, your blackheads. My skin looks pretty good I would say. I still have some acne scars to fade but overall I'm satisfied because it obviously helps with something, right? I mean I think there's a change from what I started like this video and what I am now. Also, my brother just came back from... He lived in Thailand for a couple of years and he just came back and one of the things that he said was What did you do to your skin? <laughs> yeah, he was like, your skin looks so much better. I was like, my skin is sponsored by Chanyol. Hi Chanyol. So I gave him one of those because if you watched my unboxing videos, I got this scent from a store in Korea and they sent me two of those so I have one and since as I said I've been using this for almost a month and I only used it like this much because you only have to use it like once every three days so I'm not gonna run out of this anytime soon which is great so I gave him the second one because he said he wants to do what I did to my skin he wants me to do it to his skin <laughs> so yeah great product I like it I don't know what else to say <laughs> I mean you judge for yourself. This is my face and compare it to my face in the beginning of this video. And also I'll show you the before and afters. The things I would say it helps with is fading acne scars and keeping your pores clean. So if that's what you're looking for, if you tried it and you had a different experience, comment down below. So other people could know what to expect or something. So yeah, that was the video. Stan Chanyol. Okay, bye!